Have you ever wondered how the world would look if the sea levels keep rising at the current rate? This thought might seem far-fetched, but it is a silent, rising threat that our urban coastal areas face today. Picture the concrete jungles we call our cities, now under the constant shadow of encroaching waters. It's a battle for survival, an urgent issue that demands our attention. The complexities of urban planning and infrastructure make this a particularly challenging problem. Yet within these challenges lie opportunities for innovative solutions. As the sea levels rise, so too does our ingenuity and resilience. We'll be examining some of these solutions in this video, from elevated structures to ingenious water management systems. We're on the brink of a tidal turmoil, but it's not a battle we're destined to lose. So let's dive into the deep end of this oceanic problem and explore how our urban coastal areas are faring. Miami, a city known for its vibrant nightlife and beautiful beaches, is now under threat. A paradise of sun and sand, Miami's geographical charm has also become its Achilles heel. With rising sea levels, this bustling metropolis is caught in a precarious predicament. Miami's story is a complex one. Built on porous limestone, the city is akin to a sponge, absorbing water not just from the encroaching sea, but also from below. This unique geological foundation has made traditional methods of flood control, like seawalls and levees, less effective. As the waters rise, they don't just come over the walls, but seep up from the ground, leading to what locals call sunny day flooding. This phenomenon, where streets flood without a drop of rain in sight, has become increasingly common, disrupting everyday life in the city. But Miami's woes don't stop at flooding. The city's infrastructure, designed for a different era, is also feeling the strain. Old sewage systems, not built to handle the increasing water levels, frequently overflow, leading to sanitation issues. Roads, buildings and vital utilities are also under threat, as the ground beneath them becomes more unstable due to the encroaching waters. And then there's the impact on real estate. Miami's prime coastal properties, once the city's crowning jewels, are now seen as high-risk investments. As the threat of sea level rise becomes more real, property values in flood-prone areas are taking a hit, leading to what experts are calling climate gentrification. Wealthier residents are moving to higher ground, often displacing lower-income communities in the process, but Miami is not going down without a fight. The city is exploring innovative solutions to protect its future. From raising streets to revamping building codes, Miami is taking on the rising tides head-on. We'll delve into these solutions in the next scene. For now, remember this. Miami's story is not just about a city's battle against rising seas. It's a testament to human resilience, a tale of a city refusing to surrender to the sea. Miami is rising to the occasion quite literally. In the face of rising sea levels, the city is taking innovative steps to safeguard its future. Elevated structures, sea walls, and strategic urban planning are just a few examples of how Miami is turning the tide on this environmental challenge. One of the key solutions the city has adopted is the construction of elevated structures. This strategy is quite straightforward. If you can't stop the water, rise above it. Many new buildings and infrastructure projects are being built at higher elevations. Even existing structures are being retrofitted to lift them above the projected sea levels. This process, although complex and costly, is proving to be a vital step in ensuring Miami's urban landscape can withstand the rising tides. But the city is not just rising physically, it's also building barriers to keep the sea at bay. Sea walls, once considered a last resort, have become a common sight along Miami's coastline. These barriers are designed to hold back the sea, offering an additional line of defense against coastal flooding and erosion. And it's not just about reacting to the sea level rise. Miami is also planning for it. Urban planning strategies are being reimagined to factor in the reality of a rising ocean. This includes everything from zoning regulations that prioritize high ground construction to the design of green spaces that can absorb excess water during floods. Moreover, the city is also investing in flood-resistant infrastructure, like improved drainage systems and permeable pavements that can better cope with increased rainfall and tidal surges. These solutions are about more than just survival. They're about building a city that can thrive in the face of change. Miami's response to sea level rise is a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. It shows that even when faced with the most daunting of challenges, we can find ways to adapt and overcome. 
As we see, Miami's resilience shows us that all is not lost in the battle against rising sea levels. With creativity, innovation and determination, we can protect our coastal cities and ensure they remain vibrant and thriving hubs for generations to come. From one water city to another, let's travel to Venice, where the rising tide is a daily concern. The romantic city of Venice, with its maze of canals and historical structures, has long been a symbol of architectural resilience against the forces of nature. But today, the city faces a formidable foe in the form of rising sea levels. Venice's unique geographical location has always made it vulnerable to flooding. Built on a lagoon on the northeastern coast of Italy, the city is no stranger to aqua alta or high water. But with climate change, these high tides are becoming more frequent and more intense. The city's famous St. Mark's Square now floods more than 60 times a year, a stark contrast to the four times a year it experienced half a century ago. The impact of this watery invasion is not just a matter of wet shoes, it's a threat to centuries-old buildings whose foundations are being eroded by the salty, corrosive water. The city's rich cultural heritage, encapsulated in its Byzantine mosaics, Renaissance frescoes and Gothic architecture, is at risk. The rising sea levels are also taking a toll on the city's vibrant tourism industry. The flooding makes navigation through the city's canals difficult, disrupting the gondola rides that are a must-do for any Venice visitor. Shops and restaurants often have to close during high tides, leading to significant economic losses. For the residents of Venice, living with the rising tides means a constant battle to keep the water out of their homes and businesses. Daily life in Venice has become a balancing act with citizens learning to coexist with the water while also fighting to preserve their city. But Venice is a city that has thrived against the odds for centuries. Its spirit and resilience are undeterred by the rising waters. It's a city that refuses to be silenced by the sea. Venice, however, is not surrendering to the sea. The city is fighting back with some remarkable strategies. So, let's delve into how Venice is tackling this watery challenge in our next scene. Venice is making waves with its ambitious Mose project. In the face of rising sea levels and recurrent flooding, the city's solution is nothing short of groundbreaking. The MOSE project, an acronym for Modulo Sperimentale e Litromeccanico, or Experimental Electromechanical Module in English, is an innovative system of movable barriers designed to protect Venice from flooding. Imagine this, a series of retractable gates strategically located at three inlets that lead into Venice's lagoon. When the city is at risk of flooding, these gates are raised, creating a temporary barrier against the incoming tide. It's a system that combines the very best of engineering, technology and environmental science. The project, which began in the early 2000s, has been a mammoth undertaking. It involved the construction of 78 mobile barriers, each one measuring 20 metres wide, 20 metres high and between 3 and 5 metres thick. These are not your average seawalls, they are colossal shields designed to hold back the might of the sea. But the Mose project is more than just a feat of engineering. It's a testament to Venice's resilience and determination. A city built on water, Venice has always had a complex relationship with the sea. Yet, instead of surrendering to the rising tides, the city has chosen to fight back. The Mose project, despite its challenges and controversies, represents a beacon of hope not just for Venice, but for other coastal cities around the world. It's a bold statement, a declaration that we won't simply stand by and watch our cities succumb to the sea. Instead, we will innovate, adapt and rise above. As we move forward, the Mose project will continue to be a critical part of Venice's strategy to combat rising sea levels. It's not a perfect solution, nor is it the only one. But it's a significant step in the right direction, a pioneering initiative that showcases what's possible when we combine human ingenuity with technological prowess. Venice's Mo's project is a testament to human ingenuity in the face of adversity. Miami and Venice are not alone. Coastal cities around the world are grappling with similar challenges. From the bustling metropolis of Shanghai to the quieter shores of Alexandria, the threat of rising sea levels is a shared concern. The silent enemy is creeping in a result of melting polar ice caps and thermal expansion caused by global warming. This is not a problem of the distant future, it is happening now and it's forcing us to rethink our relationship with the sea. Our coastal cities, these vibrant hubs of culture, commerce and community are in peril. 
The common challenges are manifold. Infrastructure is under threat, with roads, bridges and buildings at risk from flooding and erosion. Public services, too, are strained as they grapple with the need for emergency response and disaster management. Urban planning has become a delicate balancing act, trying to accommodate growing populations while ensuring their safety. And of course, there's the economic cost. The financial burden of defending against rising tides and repairing the damage they wreak is immense, but faced with these challenges, we're seeing a wave of innovation. In the Netherlands, for example, they're embracing the water with their amphibious homes designed to float in times of flood. Over in Japan, they're investing heavily in seawalls and flood barriers, a testament to their engineering prowess. In Bangladesh, they're turning to nature, cultivating mangrove forests as a natural barrier against storm surges, and in New York, they're reimagining their skyline designing skyscrapers with elevated entrances and power systems on higher floors to combat potential flooding. These solutions, while diverse in nature, share a common goal, protecting our cities, our homes, our way of life from the rising tide. They show us that while the threat is global, so too is the response. We're learning from each other, adapting and innovating, and in doing so, we're not just defending our shores, we're redefining our relationship with the sea. Indeed, the global community is rising to the challenge, demonstrating our collective strength and resilience. The rising sea levels pose a grave threat to our urban coastal areas. But why should we care? Well, the answer is quite simple. These swelling tides don't just affect the physical landscape. They ripple through every facet of our society, touching upon economic, social and environmental aspects. Let's pause for a moment and recall the stories of Miami and Venice, two cities grappling with the reality of rising seas. Miami, a city built on porous limestone, is facing the threat of being swallowed by the Atlantic. Venice, the city of canals, is wrestling with the irony of its most defining feature becoming its potential downfall. These are not isolated incidents. They are harbingers of what's to come for many coastal cities around the world if we don't take action. Our bustling urban landscapes, home to millions of people, are at risk. Economically, the damage could be catastrophic, with potential losses in the trillions of dollars globally. But it's not just about the money. There's a human element to this story. Displacement from rising sea levels could lead to a significant humanitarian crisis. Communities may lose their homes, their livelihoods and their cultural heritage. And then there's the environmental toll. Our coastal areas are home to a diverse array of ecosystems, many of which are already fragile due to human activity. Rising sea levels could push these systems beyond the brink, leading to loss of biodiversity and potential ecological collapse. Yet amidst these challenges, we've also seen a glimmer of hope. The innovative solutions implemented in Miami and Venice demonstrate human ingenuity and resilience. We have the tools to combat this threat, but it requires a concerted global effort. So why should we care? because our actions today will shape the world of tomorrow. This is not just about preserving our cities, it's about safeguarding our future, our planet, and the generations to come. We are all in the same boat when it comes to rising sea levels. It's time we paddle together towards a sustainable future.